What's up fellas, I'm not the expert. Welcome back to the Indianapolis Colts franchise. This is gonna be the first episode we finally see some gameplay from this team. You guys left a lot of very good suggestions in the comments in last episode. As always, I'm always up for suggestions in the future, so if you got anything, just let me know in the comments below. One of you guys suggested that I should switch to the cloud franchise instead of the offline. There's a couple of things that changed once I went to the cloud. Uh, we, first off, we don't have a fullback anymore. Sadly, I went to free agency, Vince Wilfork. He's not even in the game anymore. A couple other things I changed. I switched the defense to a 3-4 scheme. We put uh, Jabal Sheard, I think is how you say his name. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But I moved him to the right end spot. I feel like uh, that's where he's going to be more valuable. He jumped a few overall points. He's now an 84. And I, I mean, just looking at our linebackers, like they're mostly outside pass rushers so uh the, I, yeah like barkevius mingo these guys are going to thrive in a 3-4 defense also when i went to the cloud they automatically had darius butler at the corner spot and malik hooker starting at free safety tj green has also moved up to the free safety spot i did not change that that was an automatic thing first things first the highest guy on the board michael burton uh, we needed a fullback anyway this guy is only 1.6 million dollar contract this is an easy sign for me Perry Riley Jr. is another guy that I feel like we we could get some use out of. He's a 3-4 tackler, the highest rated middle linebacker out there. And with our middle linebacker situation, we definitely need one. Um, besides, like he has 80 speed, so that that's kind of not really that great. But he does have like 78 zone coverage. His tackling stats are tremendous. So yeah, I mean, this is another easy sign for me. He's got 89 speed. I mean, what else do I need to say? I'm signing him. Now, I was considering picking up Sam Shields or maybe even like Darrell Reeves or Tremaine Brock, but looking at our corners, I feel like we are set. If we look at our corners right now, we got Vontae Davis, 88 overall. He's already a stud. We got Darius Butler from the free safety position. He's got great coverage stats. At the third spot, we have a tremendous Quincy Wilson. Like, look at those coverage stats. This guy is already a stud. I, I really don't see a reason for us to sign any more corners right now. Like, I guess you could argue that we could use them for depth or like maybe speed or something, but we do have Daryl Morris, who has 93 speed, 94 excel, already at the fourth corner spot. I also just wanted to show this to you guys. A lot of people were suggesting that I pick up Tevin Coleman, but once I move to the Cloud franchise, there's nobody listed on the trade block right now. And looking at our running backs, I feel like there's a couple of guys that could step up and make a lot of plays for us anyways. We still have not tested out Frank Gore. Uh, Robert Turbin looks like a pretty decent all-around running back. And also Christian Michael, I feel like he's going to get the load of the carries with that 91 speed. Surprisingly, everyone was saying Marlon Mack was a legend, at least in real life. I, I heard he's tearing it up right now in the preseason. So uh, we're definitely going to give this guy a lot of carries in this franchise to test him out for ourselves. But if we find ourselves in a situation where I am not happy with any of our running backs, then we'll look to get like Tevin Coleman or somebody else in the NFL. But for right now, we're going to stick with what we got. Just going to sign Sebastian Bulmer. It's a very well-rounded right tackle uh, just for a one-season contract. I almost completely forgot about this last free agent pickup. Uh, we probably do need a backup quarterback because like this Scott Tolzien and all those guys, not really excited to play with them. We have two options. We got RG3, who, of course, uh, his career is kind of down the drain now. He has slow development. He does have 86 speed, 92 throw power. His accuracy stats are not the best. Or we could pick up the dude, Colin Kaepernick, 94 throw power, 85 speed. Both his play action and his accuracy are kind of trash. In my personal opinion, I think Colin Kaepernick would work better for me. So I'm just going to sign Colin Kaepernick. And bye-bye, Stephen Morris. Here we go, gents. First bit of gameplay for this team. Uh, yeah, we're gonna see a lot of the young guys, maybe a lot of Marlon Mack action in this game. Uh, you know the drill. We're just trying to test out the team. Who's gonna make a roster spot? Who are we cutting? Let's keep an eye out. I stayed up all night making a playbook just for this series. Come on, guys, we got this. We're gonna start it out with the starters. Frank Gore, do me proud, man. All right, there you go. That's a nice read. Nice, nice. Maybe that 82 speed is not too shabby. Let's cheese the uh, C routes. No, we're going to hit Christian Michael in the flats. Nice. That'll be a first down on our first drive. Let's switch it up. Let's let's test them deep. It's just the preseason, so I want to see what this arm is looking like. Oh, it's popped up. Get that. What a catch from Jack Doyle. Wow. That was a fiesta of a play, but we came down with it. Yeah, we're hitting this post route. What a dot from Andrew Luck. And nice catch, T.Y. Hilton. I'm loving this team so far. This is a lot of fun. 
I'm getting this little momentum going. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Let's see if we can try to target Dante Moncrief on this mesh play. Get open for me, bruh. It's got to be man defense. Oh, what a catch from Dante Moncrief. Oh, he almost made his way to the end zone. Power O, lead me to the goal line. What a broken tackle from Frank Gore. Frank the Tank gets us our first preseason touchdown. I think that's all we needed to see from the starters. Let's go. Here's the biggest test for me, though. Playing defense. I am not good at it. All right, let's switch to man. Oh, wow. John Simon immediately making an impact. First play is a three-yard tackle for loss. Now it's a pitch. Swing out, swing out. Get him, Mingo. Let's go. Oh, we got this locked up. Oh, crap. Our pass defense is not good. And somebody's already injured. That is not good. The last thing you want to see is freaking preseason injuries. That is so frustrating. The rookie is getting a lot of playing time. There we go. That's a user tackle right there. Perry Riley Jr. You're going to have to change that number, though. 98 is not a good linebacker number. Nice tackle, Malik. Another third down. Come on. Can the pass defense come in clutch? It's our weakest position. And the middle of the field. That was my zone. That one was all me. Crap. Start of the second quarter. That means the backups are coming in now. Here's where the real fun starts. Key guys we need to look at. The middle linebackers is who we need to be working on. So Antonio Morrison and Sean Spence. They're two powerful hitters. Can they make a play? And Sean Spence got worked. I figured out why our pass defense was garbage. I was playing just a 3-4 odd the entire time. That's not what you want. I'm telling you, pass defense in this game against the CPU is very difficult. You got to be on your game all the time. And I see like they throw to the flats a lot. Please tell me we can bring that guy down. What is happening? Are you serious? What? <gasps> Are you kidding me, guys? Bring that man down. What was that? I've never seen an animation like that in any football ga video game ever. It's pretty cool, but wish it would have been on my side and not against me. So we got Marlon Mack about to do this jet sweep right here. You guys told me to start him. Here we go. We're getting him some playing time. There you go. First play is breaking a tackle. Whew. A lot of space there. Christian Michael, Colin Kaepernick. Let's see what this combo is like. Let's hit Christian Michael. Look at that explosive speed. Let's go. I'm feeling the option plays, man. Even Andrew Luck, if he's in the game, we're still running option plays. Same thing again, just in a different formation. Read option. Oh, Colin Kaepernick. Look at that acceleration. Yes, sir. And it's fourth down. We're definitely going to fake it right here. This play was overpowered as crap in Madden 17. Is it overpowered in Madden 18? Let's find out. Hit triangle. Yep, it's the same thing, man. We're going to abuse that as much as we can. Play action boot right here out of the pistol. Let's do it, Cap. Look at that speed. You know, we're going to scramble right here. We're going to scramble with Cap. Look at that block from Jack Doyle. He broke the tackle. He's still going. Let's go, Cap. We got seven seconds. We still have a timeout. I mean, it's just preseason, but we're still going to try to go for the points just for shits and gigs. And we're going to hit this post route. And what the hell was that? Oh, Cap's accuracy is garbage. And you guys know I love the Wildcats. So this year, I think Marlon Mack might be our guy. Let's test it out right here. So he gets break it off. Oh, look at that juke move. Let's go, dude. Boom. The user sack with Sean Spence. Just ruined that guy. Been loving the option game with Colin Kaepernick. Especially when we got Christian Michael. He has some very good speed if he gets in open space. That could be a touchdown. I don't know. He, he's still going. Yeah, he's going to make... Oh, got him by the ankles. Two rushes, 87 yards. Beautiful blocks. Christian Michael has that fantastic acceleration to make it to the end zone. That was some trash, dude. All right, TJ Green. Give me a return, bro. Oh, and he fumbled it. That is not what you want. Ah, oh, TJ Green. SMH, bro. Good tackle. Spence is making a lot of plays right now. I'm liking how he's playing. Ah, oh, we forgot about the running back. He's just going to walk straight into the end zone. I mean, it's a preseason game, but we did just lose the lead. I still want to grab the W. I don't know about you guys. Third and 17, Kaepernick. Please throw a dot right here. The post route. Can he get there? Threw it over him. What a throw. The linebacker was oblivious. We'll probably man defense here. Let's try to hit this post. Ah, oh, what another great throw. But there's a flag on the field. I swear on my life. Seriously, guys? Ah. Throw at. Can he get it? 
He got it, Kamar Aiken, you legend. There's eight seconds left. Come on, post route. It's there, Juan Bray, just run up the middle. Go, he broke it. One second, call that timeout. We got one second, we can do this. 24 yards. Screw it, that play just worked. Let's try it one more time. This last second chance for the end zone. Can Kaepernick pull off the comeback? We need the blocks. Uh, let's just let's just try it. Nope, no one is there. Still worth a shot though. That was a lot of fun. Maybe could have ran that clock a little bit better at the end of the game, but it's just a preseason game. Just kind of testing things out. See who on our roster that I like playing with. And I think I already have a pretty good idea. Looking at the stats, there was no interceptions, which is a very good thing for our team. Uh, Brad Kaya kind of tore us apart. He had two passing touchdowns, 14 of 15. It's hard to play passing defense. I'm, I'll be honest with you guys. Colin Kaepernick, 76 passing yards with a 54% completion percentage. Definitely could have been better. Andrew Luck, when he was in, he was magnificent. 70 yards with an 80% completion percentage. Hey, even our fullback, one for one. What a great day for him. Marlon Mack, his stats don't really look like he did much, but when he was in, I had a lot of fun playing with him. Colin Kaepernick, it's quite clear he's very good at those uh, read option plays. Frank Gore, of course, Frank the Tank is a very good goal line back. And Christian Michael was really the biggest surprise for me. Dude is explosive. Three carries, 91 rushing yards, and one touchdown. Receiving Kamar Aiken and uh, Colin Kaepernick definitely seemed to have a good connection. He had three catches, 48 receiving yards. Sean Spence probably played the best out of all the linebackers, which is I'm glad to see that because we did have Antonio Morrison go down with basically a season-ending injury. So as you can already see, those free agent pickups already boosted our team's overall. We have an 89 overall offense, an 81 overall defense, which is an 81 overall as a team. Not too shabby. Well, guys, that's pretty much all I got for this video. Uh, do you guys want to see the rest of the preseason or should we just go ahead and skip to the regular season? Just let me know your opinion in the comments below. But anyways, guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. You're all legends in my book. And as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you fellas in my next video. Peace. I'm dead. I am dead. And this is what heaven is like. Oh, this is where they play the game. I want you to meet Indianapolis Colts owner, Big Old Drewski. And you get to meet you, my friend. Thank you. I love your team, sir. This whole place is yours.